to the house. I promised you a couple of live streams ago that I would get you a plumbing workout because I know a lot of you are quarantined at the moment. Much love from me to you guys. For those of you that are, I hope that this keeps you occupied. So a couple of things I want to let you know. I sort of started to think about what sort of movements we do on a typical day-to-day -day basis. A little bit more service side stuff here and what you're going to see. Let's look at what you're going to need at the house because I know a lot of you don't have all the materials that, you know, comes with a home gym. But hopefully we can make it work out. Come follow me. So peeps, for this workout, you're gonna need a few different things. The first thing is gonna be some small towel of some sort. It could even be any sort of cloth. It could be a sweatshirt, pillowcase, anything sort of like that that's kind of small. We'll be using that. Another thing that I opted to do, some of you might not have any dumbbells or any kettlebells at home. So if you don't and you have water bottles, this is a good option. All you need is a bag, like a shopping bag that's pretty sturdy. And then you take a bunch of your water bottles if you're into the plastic water bottles and you stuff them inside until you have a weight that you're happy with. You don't have water bottles at home. If you have any canned food, throw the cans in here. Whatever it is that will put weight into this is gonna be useful for you so that you have some sort of resistance as this is going on. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is not necessary, but if you have um, pipe wrenches, if you have any pipe wrenches from work and you have your kid at home, grab them. These will be useful if you want to use them, but we could also use the water bottles that we have here or the cans or whatever you fill this up with. So that's all you need. It's just going to be a lot of resistance training with this body weight movement and let's get into it. So peeps, this is going to be a circuit. We're going to have a total of five movements all together. I'm going to go through each of the movements slowly so that you know how to do it at home. So we're going to start off with the first movement, which is going to be something similar to picking up a toilet. So with this bag that you filled with cans, or water balls or whatever, we're gonna imitate a squat type movement which is sort of the way we deal with toilets, okay? Whenever I'm dealing with a toilet, a lot of the times I gotta get in, grab her, like so, and if you come to my side, you'll see that I'm attempting a straight back here. You don't wanna roll anything because this puts your back in a vulnerable position. You wanna tuck under, grab the bag, like so. Once you have her, stand up, come back down. Stand up, straight, Squeeze your glutes at the end, come back down, squeeze, come back down, and you're doing this for an entire minute, okay? So again, what you don't want to see is this. That's dangerous for your back. If you have rolled shoulders, roll them back. You want to straight back this entire time. All right, that's the first movement. The second movement is similar to the first one. It's not a squat, this is more gonna be of a clean. I'm sort of thinking about whenever you have to deal with cast iron pipe, a lot of times you and whoever's on the other end will grab the pipe, will bring it up and you might put it on your shoulder. So here's a movement that's gonna be a clean and then we're gonna do a shoulder press. Let me show you the two steps, okay? So the first phase of the clean is gonna look something like this, straight back. You're going to be lifting up, rotating, and down. So if you have a dumbbell, a clean, a one-arm dumbbell clean, will look something like this. Up, okay? So straight back, up, and then we're going to go into a shoulder press, which looks like so. You're here, throw your arm on the side, press up. Like so, come down, straight back, up, press. Okay, we are attempting to do that with this bag here. Now, the one difference between the bag and the dumbbell is that whenever you're holding a bag by the strings, the weight is actually underneath your shoulders. So it's an entirely different movement. If you want to make it as close as possible, try grabbing the bag by the top. It'll also work on your grip movement. So here's how this one goes. Grab the bag, bring her up. And as soon as you're here, remember it's straight back. You're going to shoulder press. Up, bring her back down soft, just like that. Up, up, and then you're gonna switch arms. So, up. So that was the second movement. Here's the third one. You can either use the wrenches if you have them, or you can use the cans or the water bottles, whatever's working for you. So the movement I'm thinking about in my head is when you have to get into a cabinet and you gotta back into it. Here's what the movement looks like. You're gonna to pretend to grab a tool. You're gonna to come in. You're gonna place the tool on the other side. You're gonna come in. You're gonna grab another tool. Place the tool on the other side. And you're gonna grab another tool. 
You can do this with water bottles. You're gonna grab a water bottle, reach for it, bring it down, place it on the other side, come back, grab another water bottle, place it on the other side. Or if you wanna work with wrenches, you can actually grab a wrench, bring it wide, grab a wrench, bring it wide, come back, and repeat it the other way. The further you put things in the way, the more stretch you're gonna get in this, the more abs you're gonna work. So that's something to keep in mind. So the next movement is also an ab movement, but it's gonna be a little bit different. A lot of times when you get into a cabinet, it's got a step on it, and you gotta raise up with a hip thrust in order to function underneath it without hurting your back. So we're gonna implement that into this workout. Here's how this is gonna go. You're gonna come down, legs come out, hip thrust, Come up. Legs come out. Hip thrust. Come up. Legs come out. Hip thrust. Come up. We're gonna do that for one minute. This one's gonna kick my butt. Fourth exercise we're gonna be doing for a minute is gonna have to do with our soldering abilities. I remember at the beginning of my apprenticeship, my forearms used to kill because we had to clean especially larger diameter pipe. So we're gonna try to mimic that with one of the towels that we got. So what we're gonna do is you literally hold out a towel and you try rolling it up in the air. Once you get it rolled here, go five times, then unroll it. And then do it again. Roll her up. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Unroll. And you do that for one minute. Your forearms are going to feel it. And then we're going to finish strong every round with burpees. Now the burpees I typically do and most people typically do end up in doing a push-up. For those of you that can't push up, there's going to be an alternative. Okay, here's what a burpee looks like. Come up, touch, into a push-up, come up, touch, into a push-up. If you can't do a push-up, all I want you to do is come up, touch, into a plank, come up, touch, into a plank. And that's going to be our circuit. It's going to be misery. Let's have some fun with it. Let's start. So you get to this.
fittest man on the planet. This cardio, this high intensity cardio stuff. Whew. I much prefer doing weights, but it's good to work on your weaknesses. It's good to get these lungs pumping and make them a bit stronger. Same with your heart. It's all part of keeping up a strong immune system, peeps. Your body's gotta be fit. Your eating's gotta be good. And we're all worried about our immune systems right now with this whole COVID-19 shenanigans. So let's recover and let's do something new too. I didn't say this before. Make sure you're hydrating. So you know, those back-to-back -back ab workouts? <laughs> that might have been a bad idea on my part. <laughs> Thank you.
<clears throat> so, the original plan was to do three sets. This kicked my butt peeps. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to a third set, but for those of you that are way fitter than I cardiovascularly, go on and do that. This was a fun little workout. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below if this is something you wanna see more of, because if it is, I'll definitely keep posting these sort of things. I wanna keep you all occupied constructively during COVID-19. So get on and do this workout, peeps. It'll work out those forearms. It'll work on those core exercises we need in this trade. It'll also work on your glutes, your hams, and your quads, and then it'll give you some uh, cardio cardiovascular strength with the burpees at the end so it's a good workout kick my butt tremendously peeps like subscribe comment below stay positive during this quarantine and i'll see you plumbers very soon kenny molotov guys peace baby